Hey everyone, Alpha Republic here, coming at you with another Clone Army Customs and Minifigs for You unboxing. And I want to say thank you to everyone who's hung with me thus far. I know a lot of you have been, have really enjoyed my previous unboxings for both of these companies as well as have requested more. And so I, um, you know, I'm happy to oblige. Here you go. This is my final haul for this year. And so I'm really excited for this one. I think you guys are really going to enjoy what I have in store for you. And so let's go ahead and dive right in. So let's go ahead and start first with our, with our mini figs for you order. And this one, um, I mean, it's still awesome because it's mini figs for you. Their quality printing is insane. Um, you know, we love everything about it, but, um, You'll, you'll kind of see what I mean in just a second, is that what I did, here we go. So I went ahead and got four more Camino Troopers. And so I'm just stocking up for a future Camino mock. And so if you guys were watching my former video, I already have these guys. And so um, that brings my total count up to eight. And what's kind of interesting about these guys, and I'll show you, they look exactly the same. If you've watched my previous videos, um, they look exactly the same. We still have um, everything except for this time. He actually included a trooper blaster, whereas in my first one, he included um, the rifles. So kind of interesting. I don't mind the mix up. Honestly, I think it creates more diversity. And so again, just black head underneath. Nothing too special there. And all four of these guys are the exact same. So I'll try and get you a nice go around you can see it's kind of interesting you can see just a little bit of that gray printing um i don't know if that's intentional or not i don't think that it is um but honestly it doesn't detract that much or anything from again you can see that textured printing from the uv print that he uses looks great in those um, those helmets look phenomenal so again we're just adding to our um, to our C Camino security force, which I think is going to be uh, really awesome for a future mock. So definitely keep your eyes out. As you can tell, I, I definitely love the um, the shock trooper design, which these guys aren't shock troopers, but their armor is based on the shock trooper, which is red. Um, kind of all the gray areas are actually red on the shock trooper. So. Uh, you can kind of see some actually misprint on the side of that right there by the visor. So that's kind of unfortunate. But again, like overall, these these are insane and, and that one's perfect right there. So, you know, quick fix there. You can always order more. Their helmets are pretty cheap. You can always get more at Clarmy Customs as well. So, yeah, nothing more to add. But, um, you know, we got some more. So let me go ahead. And again, these are the ones that I pre already had. But just to kind of show you all together what, what it's all looking like, just because I like to show uh, full shots of kind of everything. Uh, here we go. I'll fix that guy real quick. There we are. And again, we got, we got more of these guys in the back. So yeah, so you can see that I'm up to eight Camino troopers. So I absolutely love them. They look super cool. So there they all are together for those that want to see all those Camino troopers together. So definitely uh, keep your eyes open for a future Camino mock. I think that's going to be super cool. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to move these guys actually a little bit over so I have a little bit more room because this is what I'm really excited for. While the Camino Troopers are super cool, definitely going to be using those in the future. I'm going to move that a little bit. Um, these guys I do not have, so I'll go ahead and show you what I got from Clone Army Customs here. Let's see what we grabbed. Get rid of the trash. Yep, so go ahead comes in a nice box which I do appreciate I think that's pretty cool <laughs> if I can not knock over my figures that would be great there we go all right and let's go ahead and see what we got going in the box okay so if you see how good your your Clone Wars knowledge is by just looking at those um the cloth there but oh okay well I'll take a look at that in just a minute but let's let's take a look these are the art troopers if you can't already tell sorry that was a little bit off camera there uh, there we go all righty let's adjust that a little bit okay 
Let's go ahead and dive into definitely my favorite of the bunch, which is Arc Trooper Colt here. So we got we got Arc Trooper Colt here. I love his helmet design. I think he's one of the coolest Arc Troopers. Fives is my favorite, but I think Colt might be my second favorite. His design, I love those lines on his helmet. Um, I did get all of them with the Clone Army Customs head because I just love that. You guys already know what it is. He does come with a arc antenna, which we'll go ahead and put right in. And he does include um, his, he does have a pauldron as well as a wastecape. And sometimes Clone Army Customs actually um, inc like kind of puts that on for you, which is really nice because I think they do a, a really nice job. Uh, but it looks like this time I'll have to do it myself. So no biggie. You guys will see that in a later video, what it looks like with him on. I won't bore you with the details of trying to go through it myself right now, but there's Cole. Um, he does look a lot better with his, um, with his cloth pieces on. So that's pretty sweet. But yeah, we'll go ahead and there's there's Colt right there. I also snagged an extra flamethrower for all those uh, Genosis flamethrower troopers that I got from the AV figures. So definitely put that guy right there. Dive into our next, I think our second coolest, and some might even say the coolest. I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments down below which one you think is, you know, the best. But we got this is our trooper blitz right here and i love that yellow i love how his helmet's kind of like grayed out right there and again clone Army customs head there look at that detail just all over the place looks incredible wish it kind of had wrap around leg printing but that's okay no worries there um again that's kind of his helmet design looks fantastic um Got him with a yellow arc antenna here. So there he is. And again, he, he's the one. He definitely has the coolest uh, wayscape. His is the one with the black diamonds. So he will look very cool once we add those onto him. So again, I do plan on showing those off with him eventually. So keep eyes open for that. There you go. Then we got right here, this is Art Trooper Havoc. And again, all these guys hopefully are familiar to you. We see them actually in um, season three of the animated Clone Wars TV series. So yeah, here we go. There's Havoc. Love that blue arc. Blue arc trooper just looks insane. Again, he's got the helmet right there. Looks phenomenal. Go ahead and give him his arc antenna as well if i can kind of get it right um but again i kind of wish that they he came with uh his cloth pieces pre-applied but again no worries there i can always do that so just requires a little bit more work on my end i just think he does a better job than i do applying the cloth that's that's why i bring that up so okay there's that guy and then our last arc trooper that we got here um this guy right here we got arc trooper hammer right there nice red i love those dots around he's the one who probably gets the least amount of screen time in the actual uh, clone war series he's kind of only briefly seen in one of the one of the scenes and looks like he doesn't have an antenna although he should i kind of wish maybe maybe i uh, it doesn't look like it actually so okay so he doesn't have an antenna which i'll have to order one because i just think the arc troopers definitely look better with those antennas so there we go right there we'll go ahead and kind of even it out a little bit bring some of those troopers over because that is a pretty cool shot Oop. all about getting the cool shots so yeah okay so that's pretty neat and then you'll also notice i have this bag there are some additional weapons that I'm not really going to go into too much detail on, but there's a DC-15 uh, sniper for the commandos, some pistols, a flamethrower, like I mentioned, as well as a trooper blaster. Uh, last, well, almost last, this is second to last, is what I did was I actually got, these are, uh, again, something that I think is really awesome about Clone Army Customs is that they actually include printed backpacks. That's something that they've included on a lot of different customs that they make, but you can also buy 
um, individual backpacks for, for example, like, um, let me see if I can grab it off to the side here just to show you. Uh, give me one sec. Okay, yeah. So right here, here's one of my AV figure um, flamethrower troopers. So this is exactly why I got it. Hopefully it works. I haven't tried it with the helmet, so we'll see if it totally fails. I'll do it right here for you guys. But I got these guys because look at this. You can't tell me that this doesn't look amazing. That that looks awesome and is is super accurate too to what the flamethrower troopers actually uh, would have. So let's see if this, please. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. That oh my oh my goodness. So that right there is exactly why I got those. So these will go on all of my flamethrower troopers. Uh, we'll just throw him over here for now. Um, those will go on all my flamethrower troopers. So I got more of those backpacks right there because I have four of them. So those will be put on. And then these are two visors that I want to kind of add that these are new. Uh, what you'll notice is that there's actually an antenna and a uh, little like flashlight that is actually used on the visor. And the reason why I bring that up is because um, actually, and let me again pull out my Commander Cody, is that you'll notice that if you look really closely on the Episode 2, or sorry, excuse me, Episode 3 Commander Cody, he does have an antenna on the side of his helmet. And so this will slip on just like that. And let's see if I can get it to stay. There we go. So again, just slightly more accurate visor for um, for a Cody. I kind of wish it was in this darker orange color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but you know, this brighter orange doesn't look bad or anything. And it does make it more, more accurate um, to what his visor actually looks like. So we'll go ahead and throw Cody in the back there since he's not exactly the focus of our video. But... That's just to show you. And then I got a gray one as well because Fox has the same thing going on. Except for, I believe he doesn't have the antenna. But you guys can correct me down below if if that's incorrect. But what's nice is that he actually threw in some freebies. I did not order these. And so that is awesome. I think anytime any of these companies kind of, I don't know, just kind of reward you, I guess, for kind of sticking with them and I, I just really appreciate it so let's go ahead and check out we got a this looks like an arc trooper shadow a shadow arc trooper helmet super cool I'm not a huge fan of shadow troopers in general but like hey it's free it looks dope I just um we'll see if I maybe that'll incentivize me to actually get some tell me what you guys think down below we got a, I believe, you guys can tell me, but I think that this is a snow trooper, like a clone snow trooper backpack. It could be wrong, but it's kind of in a blue cast um, mold, so that's pretty interesting. Got a uh, bright pink, like, bazooka rocket launcher. Uh, doubt I will ever use that ever, but kind of a funky color to have it in. Another rifle to go right next to that one. This is actually a, a scuba blaster. So I really like the scuba troops. That's definitely something I'll be getting in 2020. So stay tuned for that. Uh, another pistol. And then definitely the coolest. Look at that. That chrome gold DC-15. This is definitely my favorite weapon that they offer. And so to get that in chrome gold, that is just a huge... This is an early Christmas present to me from Clone Army Customs for, for what I'm concerned with. So that's super cool. It's like he knew... Um, that was my favorite so that's super cool which he didn't by the way <laughs> but anyway this is um kind of a recap on the haul that i had um i hope you guys really enjoyed it thanks for sticking with me oh real quick this this kind of slipped under the radar this is also a uh oh yeah this is another one of those visors but in the olive green colorway if you guys remember uh hold on a second let me pull them out let me uh it might take me a second but if you guys remember my Commander Doom that never had his visor and so he looked really funky and inaccurate and honestly he just, like he still looked good. The printing was incredible, but it was just hard to um, really visualize it was Doom because he looked so much different without the visor. Let me see if I can pull him out. Um, here we go. 
found him. Here's our Doom. So this is exactly what I was waiting for as well. And Doom, like Cody, has that extra piece. So this is going to really complete Doom's look. Oh, oh yeah, that looks incredible. That is totally worth it right there, I think. So definitely go for that olive green. Again, it's a special P2 visor on Clone Army Customs website. But go ahead and check that out. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. And I wanted to let you guys know, too, that I plan on releasing a recap video of all the customs that I've received this year in 2019. I want to really show you guys what I've done over the course of this year as far as um, the different clones that I've collected. And just some of my thoughts on kind of the major companies, uh, Clone Army Customs, Minifix for You, as well as AB figures that I personally have bought quite a few customs from and just my thoughts on each of those and so um anyway look forward to that video where i will show you all of my customs all at once and on one base plate i think it will be really cool i'm really looking forward to showing you guys that i think it'll look really cool these guys these art troopers will be in their full cloth i finally have all these updates like these backpacks to add to my flame drawer troopers so i'm constantly trying to improve my army and make it more screen accurate as well as just accurate to what i feel like they would actually be so anyway stay tuned for that again i appreciate all you guys who comment on my videos and i will see you in the next one peace